the economy of Chile is ranked as a high-income economy by the World Bank, and is considered one of South America's most stable and prosperous nations, leading Latin American nations in competitiveness, income per capita, globalization, economic freedom, and low perception of corruption. Although Chile has high economic inequality, as measured by the Gini Index, it is close to the regional mean. In 2006, Chile became the country with the highest nominal GDP per capita in Latin America. In May 2010, Chile became the first South American country to join the OECD. Tax revenues, altogether 22% of GDP in 2013, were the second lowest among the 34 OECD. CD countries, and the lowest in 2010. Chile has an inequality-adjusted human development index of 0.661, compared to 0.662, 0.680 and 0.542 for neighboring Uruguay, Argentina and Brazil, respectively. In 2008, only 2.7% of the population lived on less than US$2 a day. The Global Competitiveness Report for 2009-2010 ranked Chile as being the 30th most competitive country in the world and the first in Latin America, well above Brazil, Mexico, and Argentina which ranks 85th. It has since fallen out of the top 30. The Ease of Doing Business Index, created by the World Bank, lists Chile as 34th in the world as of 2014. The privatized national pension system has encouraged domestic investment and contributed to an estimated total domestic savings rate of approximately 21% of GDP. History After Spanish arrival in the 15th century Chilean economy came to revolve around autarky estates called Fundosh and around the army that was engaged in the Araco War. During early colonial times there were gold exports to Peru from place of deposits which soon depleted. Trade restrictions and monopolies established by the Spanish crown are credited for having held back economic development for much of the colonial times. As effect of these restrictions the country incorporated very few new crops and animal breeds after initial conquest. Other sectors that were held back by restrictions were the wine and mining industries. The Bourbon reforms in the 18th century eased many monopolies and trade restrictions. In the 1830s Chile consolidated under the ideas of Diego Portela as a stable state open to foreign trade. Foreign investment in Chile grew over the 19th century. After the War of the Pacific the Chilean Treasury grew by 900%. The League of Nations labeled Chile the country hardest hit by the Great Depression because 80% of government revenue came from exports of copper and nitrates, which were in low demand. After the Great Depression Chilean economic policies changed toward import substitution industrialization and the Production Development Corporation was established. Under the influence of the Chicago Boys the Pinochet regime made of Chile a leading country in establishing neoliberal policies. The crisis of 1982 caused the appointment of Hernán Bucky as Minister of Finance and a sharp revision of economic policy. Despite a general selling of state property and contrary to neoliberal prescriptions, the regime retained the lucrative state-owned mining company CODELCO which stands for about 30% of government income. According to the CIA World Factbook, during the early 1990s, Chile's reputation as a role model for economic reform was strengthened when the democratic government of Patricio Aylwin who took over from the military in 1990, deepened the economic reform initiated by the military government. Growth in real GDP averaged 8% from 1991 to 1997, but fell to half that level in 1998 because of tight monetary policies and because of lower export earnings, the latter which was a product of the Asian financial crisis. Chile's economy has since recovered and has seen growth rates of 5 to 7 percent over the past several years. After a decade of impressive growth rates, Chile began to experience a moderate economic downturn in 1999. 
brought on by unfavorable global economic conditions related to the Asian financial crisis, which began in 1997. The economy remained sluggish until 2003, when it began to show clear signs of recovery, achieving 4.0% real GDP growth. The Chilean economy finished 2004 with growth of 6.0%. Real GDP growth reached 5.7% in 2005 before falling back to 4.0% in 2006. GDP expanded by 5.1% in 2007. Sectors During 2012, the largest sectors by GDP were mining, business services, personal services, manufacturing in wholesale and retail trade. Mining also represented 59.5% of exports in the period, while the manufacturing sector accounted for 34% of exports. Concentrated mainly in food products, chemicals and pulp, paper, and others. Agriculture Agriculture and allied sectors like forestry, logging and fishing accounts only for 4.9% of the GDP as of 2007 and employed 13.6% of the country's labor force. Some major agriculture products of Chile includes grapes, apples, pears, onions, wheat, corn, oats, peaches, garlic, asparagus, beans, beef, poultry, wool, fish and timber. Chile's position in the southern hemisphere leads to an agricultural season cycle opposite to those of the principal consumer markets. Primarily located in the northern hemisphere, Chile's extreme north-south orientation produces seven different macro regions distinguished by climate and geographical features, which allows the country itself to stagger harvests and results in extended harvesting seasons. However, the mountainous landscape of Chile limits the extent and intensity of agriculture so that arable land corresponds only to 2.62% of the total territory. Through Chile's trade agreements, its agricultural products have gained access to a market controlling 77% of the world's GDP and by approximately 2012, 74% of Chilean agribusiness exports will be duty-free. Chile's principal growing region and agricultural heartland is the Central Valley delimited by the Chilean coast range in the west. The Andes in the east are Concagua River by the north and Bio Bio River by the south. In the northern half of Chile cultivation is highly dependent on irrigation. South of the Central Valley cultivation is gradually replaced by aquaculture, silviculture, sheep and cattle farming. Salmon Chile is the second largest producer of salmon in the world. As of August 2007, Chile's share of worldwide salmon industry sales was 38.2%, rising from just 10% in 1990. The average growth rate of the industry for the 20 years between 1984 and 2004 was 42% per year. The presence of large foreign firms in the salmon industry has brought what probably most contributes to Chile's burgeoning salmon production. Technology Technology transfer has allowed Chile to build its global competitiveness and innovation and has led to the expansion of production as well as to an increase in average firm size in the industry. Forestry The Chilean forestry industry grew to comprise 13% of the country's total exports in 2005, making it one of the largest export sectors for Chile. Radiata pine and eucalyptus comprise the vast majority of Chile's forestry exports. Within the forestry sector, the largest contributor to total production is pulp, followed by wood-based panels and lumber. Due to popular and increasing demands for Chile's forestry products, the government is currently focusing on increasing the already vast acreage of Chile's pine and eucalyptus plantations as well as opening new industrial plants. Wine Chile's unique geography and climate make it ideal for wine growing and the country has made the top 10 list of wine producers many times in the last few decades. The popularity of Chilean wine has been attributed not just to the quantity produced but also to increasing levels of quality. 
The combination of quantity and quality allows Chile to export excellent wines at reasonable prices to the international market. Mining The mining sector in Chile is one of the pillars of Chilean economy. The Chilean government strongly supports foreign investment in the sector and has modified its mining industry laws and regulations to create a favorable investing environment for foreigners. Thanks to a large amount of copper resources, progressive legislation and a healthy investment environment, Chile has become the copper mining capital of the world, producing over one-third of the global copper output. Services The service sector in Chile has grown fast and consistently in recent decades, reinforced by the rapid development of communication and information technology, access to education and an increase in specialist skills and knowledge among the workforce. Chilean foreign policy has recognized the importance of the tertiary sector or service sector to the economy boosting its international liberalization and leading to the signing of several free trade area agreements. Chilean service exportation consists mainly of maritime and aeronautical services, tourism, retail, engineering and construction services, informatics, health and education, finance. Chile's financial sector has grown quickly in recent years. With a banking reform law approved in 1997 that broadened the scope of permissible foreign activity for Chilean banks, the Chilean government implemented a further liberalization of capital markets in 2001, and there is further pending legislation proposing further liberalization. Over the last 10 years, people who live in Chile have enjoyed the introduction of new financial tools such as home equity loans currency futures and options, factoring, leasing, and debit cards. The introduction of these new products has also been accompanied by an increased use of traditional instruments such as loans and credit cards. Chile's private pension system, with assets worth roughly $70 billion at the end of 2006, has been an important source of investment capital for the capital market. However, by 2009, it has been reported that $21 billion had been lost from the pension system to the global financial crisis. Tourism Tourism in Chile has experienced sustained growth over the last decades. Chile received about 2.25 million foreign visitors in 2006, up to 2.50 million in 2007. The percentages of foreign tourists' arrivals by land, air and sea were, respectively, 55.3%, 40.5% and 4.2% for that year. The two main gateways for international tourists visiting Chile are Comodoro Arturo Marino Benitez International Airport and Paso Los Libertadores. Chile has a great diversity of natural landscapes, from the Mars-like landscapes of the hyper-arid Atacama Desert to the glacier-fed fjords of the Chilean Patagonia, passing by the winelands backdropped by the Andes of the Central Valley and the old-growth forests of the Lakes District, Easter Island and Juan Fernandez Archipelago, including Robinson Crusoe Island, are also major attractions. Many of the most visited attractions in Chile are protected areas. The extensive Chilean protected areas system includes 32 rejected parks, 48 natural reserves and 15 natural monuments. 